True leaders don't create followers, they create more leaders. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I, Sonal Sampath, would like to extend a warm welcome to our chief guest, Ms. Najla Thari Kalbakar, Vice President, Mr. Yasser Nayanar, Principal, Mr. Ms. Asna Nafis, Vice Principals, Ms. Soma Bhattacharji and Ms. Mary Cruz, Headmistress, Ms. Sidney Menon, Coordinators, Teachers, Students, Parents, and all the viewers who have joined us live through Facebook and YouTube. Today we have gathered here to celebrate the leaders of our school, the students who are capable of guiding their peers to great heights of success. But what makes a good leader? A good leader is not just one who leads the team, but pushes from every possible direction, giving support from behind as well as piloting everyone from the front. Working with the team to obtain results which are good for not just the team, but everyone around them is what constitutes a true leader. The qualities required to create a good leader cannot be cultivated in a single day. At DPS Modern Indian School, we believe in the holistic development of our students. Leadership qualities come with time and experience and the students present with us today on this platform have shown us that they're capable of being excellent leaders in the future. The prefectorial body being entrusted with their positions today are also being given the responsibilities that come along with them. And we have great confidence that they will carry on their duties to their full capabilities. Let's start today's program with the blessings of Almighty. I call upon Master Fauzan to recite the Holy Quran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Muhammad Fawzan Abbas from class 5C. I am going to say the prayer. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Najla al Bakr is a Qatari woman leader having a lot of passion for leadership, innovation, and technology. She is a finance graduate from Qatar University and then later graduated with an executive MBA from the University of Plymouth in the UK. She has worked for large corporates and multinational companies like Qatar Gas, Odafone, and Orido. Ms. Najla has also participated in the Qatar Leadership Center's development programs as one of the top Qatari leaders in the country. She is the founder and managing director of Cruiser Service of Trading. In spite of her busy schedules, she has taken time to be amidst us. We are honored with your presence, ma'am. I request you to speak a few words of motivation for our young leaders. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, Principal Ms. Asna Nafis, members of the school leadership team, teachers, parents, and my dear students, leadership is indeed something that is today in short supply. 
if we get uh, fortunate to get good leaders, life becomes uh, so much fulfilling to live and enjoy. Leaders, I believe, are those uh, that that not only talk talk but walk the path uh, that they claim to be the right one. DPS MIS every year elects new leadership team amongst its students, and I am very impressed with the practice and it and uh, as it, demo it demonstrates uh, the commitment of the school to promote good leadership, and also demonstrates the enthusiasm of the students to become future leaders. I am sure that student leaders of this year will do an, uh, an equally excellent work uh, to their as their colleagues last year. I wish them uh, the success and wish them they continue their leadership lessons into the future and even after they finish school. All the best to the student leaders and congratulations for the new positions that have uh, attained. Thank you for having me as a chief guest. I will continue to support DPS and MIS in whatever way possible to remain the best school in Qatar that already is. Uh, good evening and have a nice week ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am, for those words of motivation and having faith in us. We have amongst us today, Mr. Yasser Nayanar, Vice President, DPS Modern Indian School, an educationist with a great vision. Thank you, sir, for gracing this occasion with your presence. May I request you, sir, to speak a few words of encouragement to our young leaders? Over to you, sir. Yeah, thank you, Sonal, ma'am. Uh, Ms. Najlal Bakar, the chief guest of this evening, and uh, my colleague, uh, she she also was with me in the same department in Uridu, and now she is working for the World Cup uh, 2022 organizing committee, as well as uh, she runs uh, the Crusoe services, which is getting increasingly popular these days for vehicle maintenance at home. Indeed, a very innovative idea. And uh, Ms. Asna Nafiz, Ms. Mary Cruz, uh, Ms. Uh, Soma Bhattacharji, Ms. Sini Min and the vice principals, uh, thank you for, uh, you know, considering uh, me and uh, Najla for this uh, event. Uh, I'm sure that the student leaders are uh, looking forward for, uh, you know, taking up their positions and uh, delivering their best with whatever is available. Currently, um, leadership has yet one more challenge, which is to work online. Uh, and you, you can't see the people that you're leading in, in most cases. So um, I really um, appreciate that uh, the school has taken initiative to continue the, the leadership uh, uh, work uh, in terms of the investiture ceremony and also electing those uh, student leaders. It is uh, indeed very tough uh, during these days when you can't see people face to face and you have to communicate messages uh, that become, you know, later instructions. And whenever you communicate, you know, you, you, you need the feedback loop of whether that message has been understood properly or not. So this is one of the big challenges uh, for leadership today. And uh, I hope our student leaders will uh, come out with flying colors as uh, usual. Uh, I also would like to um, inform the, stu uh, the students and their parents that uh, is uh, watching in today, uh, other than the investiture ceremony, uh, we are as a, a management team working very closely with the government authorities to ensure that we open the school safely uh, and in the right uh, manner prescribed uh, by the health authorities. And uh, we are working towards that. Um, we uh, hope that uh, all the compliance uh, measures that have been put by the government uh, you know, will be in place before the opening of the school. We are working day and night on that. So parents, be rest, rest assured. Whatever we do, it's not in our interest or in the interest uh, of anyone uh, associated with the school. It's in the interest, best interest of the child and the uh, child's education. And uh, we are only following the, the, the rules and regulations of the Qatari government. And I'm sure they have also been backed up with a lot of expertise in this area. So we keep getting a lot of mails every day uh, and Asna ma'am is answering or sometimes you know, clubbing the answers together because some mails are very similar in nature. But I'm sure that parents do understand that whatever we are doing is in the best interest for the children. So all the best.
for the student leaders of today. Uh, the oath that you take today uh, is a commitment towards leadership, not only in the school, but for your entire life. So please remember this oath and uh, move forward as strong leaders, as people who unite their teams. The people you lead are called teams, not followers, uh, actually, teams that, that work with you. So when, when these teams need to work, they need to be united. They need to understand that uh, unity and uh, uh, in, in spite of the diversity, unity is very important. So please be aware of the unity within your team and keep moving forward in a united manner. All the best, uh, dear leaders. Thank you, Asna, ma'am. And uh, thank you, school leadership team. And thank you, Najla, ma'am, for being here. Thank you, sir, for your encouraging words. No event is complete without listening to our dynamic leader, our principal, Asna Nafiz. Our student council of today have expressed during the interview, they are highly motivated by our principal. May I request our principal to speak a few words of inspiration? Over to you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Ms. Sonal. To this evening, Ms. Najla al -Bakar, Vice President of DPS Modern Indian School, Mr. Yasser Nanar, my team of uh, vice principals, Ms. Soma, Ms. Mary, head, headmistress, Ms. Sini, the coordinators, teachers, proud parents, and equally proud students, a very good evening. This evening is a very special evening for all the young student leaders who have been elected through a very democratic process, even if it is online, to be suit, to suit suitable positions that they have written that they would like to take up. After a lot of scrutinization, a lot of interaction, interviews, written work, we have concluded who would be heading the junior leadership team in the primary school. Indeed, these occasions are occasions which help us to understand what students think and how they have been coping with a very challenging period. Leadership is just not about leading when everything is going well. Leadership is about standing during crisis and must I say to my students and to my parents that we have in our team, wonderful leaders starting from the management to the last person who works in the school, be it the driver, the conductor. I cannot say less about the team of teachers who have stood rock solid and changed their pathways during starting off an online session from offline to online within a week time. And we have done wonderfully well for us. Thanks for all the positive feedback and all the support that parents have given us during this extremely challenging period. Indeed, when you can see the most positive part of a very difficult phase, it is the most beautiful experience. And for us at DPS, this has been a great learning experience. We have found ways and means of reaching out to every single child, even if it is a child with inclusive learning, and challenges with inclusive learning. A number of events have been planned, executed and delivered to the best of quality. When we say we are a school with a difference, we mean we are a school with a difference. Every single event took off without any hitch and we were able to reach out to every single child. This wouldn't be possible if we did not put hours of hard work, which is not visible maybe online when the event is happening. If today's event is made possible, it is made possible because almost a month's planning has gone into this. And to just mention that these are supposed to be holiday times for the teachers, but salute to the entire team of teachers who've been working very hard to keep our students engaged otherwise other than academics. Each single child has been touched in a very unique way. And for the children, your teachers are the best leaders that you can emulate look up to them, see what's best in each individual, and try to imbibe those good qualities so that you become future leaders who understand, are sensitive towards requirements of others, and are able to deliver well. Thank you, Ms. Najla, on this occasion for joining in. The second time, I can see that you have been highly, highly impressed with our school. Thank you for that. Thank you for joining in with us on this occasion, even if it was online. And thank you, Mr. Yasser, for making it possible. 
to bring in Ms. Najla into the scene. Uh, it is definitely very motivating to see a leader like Ms. Najla, uh, especially uh, when we are moving towards the FIFA World Cup and she's one of those who's making it possible, contributing in a best possible way. Thank you, Ms. Najla, for accepting our invitation and being the role model that you are. We would love to thank the entire management for all the support throughout and we remain dedicated, we remain committed and loyal to the true spirit of DPS Modern Indian School, service before self and a school with a difference we are. So to all the student leaders, remain loyal to yourself, uh, serve with integrity, serve with dignity, and you will bear the fruits of your hard work. Thank you and good evening. Thank you, ma'am, for those pearls of wisdom. It's always a pleasure listening to you. Next, we have a motivating musical medley by our dear students of junior school.
to introduce the new prefectorial body for the academic year 2020-21. I would like to welcome the students of outgoing prefectorial body of the academic year 2019-20 for the further proceedings. Over to you, Aryan. Thank you, Sonal, ma'am. Good evening to one and all. I, Aryan Sajjan, take the privilege of introducing the newly selected student council members. The head boy of the junior school is Sayed Amir Nawaz Razvi, with a great interest in international affairs, debates, poetry, and learning new things. Amir considers leadership quality to be his strength. He aims to become an influential businessman in future and to undertake causes like social upliftment. The head girl of the junior school is Kezia Turkato. Bold, confident, and self-disciplined, Kezia's interests are cycling, swimming, and playing the violin. Her ambition in life is to see her name in the DPS toppers list. In growing up, she aspires to be a part of the NASA team, making her parents and school proud. Games captain, Aman Anib Washin. He has a variety of interests like arts and crafts, reading books, swimming, and playing basketball. He is passionate about cars and in future wants to be a car designer. Games captain, Janelle Natania Pinto. She is an ambitious and enthusiastic student. She is interested in swimming and tennis. In future, she wishes to be a writer, athlete, and environmentalist. President Student Council, Ayan Ali Sheikh. He has a keen interest in exploring facts of science, and his ambition is to become a scientist. President Student Council, Chelsea Menezes. She is a confident speaker and has multiple talents and interests. She believes in being a good human being always. Her ambition is to become an astronaut. Secretary Student Council, Prayan Agarwal. He believes that his strengths are keen observation and sharp memory. His ambition is to become a scientist who is capable of inventing useful things that are affordable for common people. Secretary Student Council, Zalila Nasir. She loves painting, reading books, and exploring new things. Her strength are self-confidence, positivity, and determination. Her ambition is to become a scientist in the field of medical research. President Activities, Ahan Gupta. He is, he is a student with diverse interests like public speaking, dancing, singing, acting, painting, and cooking. Ahan's ambition in life is to become a doctor and to serve. President Activity. Myra Rimas, an avid reader, Myra is proud of her leadership skills and problem-solving skills. Her ambition in life is to gain more knowledge and to never stop learning. May I now request students to invest the students beyond. <laughs> We, the students of DPS Modern Indian School, hereby swear that we shall discharge our duties and responsibilities to the best of our ability. We shall be models in discipline, honesty, and integrity. We shall respect all the rules and regulations of the school and abide by the school motto, service before self, now and always. We shall. We shall. We shall. Ma'am, good evening all. I, Zia Rasik, would like to take the privilege to introduce the house captains. Captain Lily House, Aiden Arav Mendonsa, a disciplined student who is academically inclined. Aiden has creative talents as well. He wishes to be successful in whatever field he chooses. Captain Lily House, Charvi Bakshi, she is interested in sports, arts and robotics. She believes that her zeal for learning is her strength. Her ambition in life is to become a scientist or an ecologist. Captain Lotus House, Vinayak Pandey, loves reading, art, and playing the piano. He believes that being creative, soft-spoken, and being humorous are his strengths. He is fascinated by the stellar world and looks forward to seeking a career in astro science. Captain Lotus House, Parul Uday. Public speaking, reading, cycling, writing, and storytelling are her interests. Her ambition in life is to become a doctor and above all, to become a good
good human being. Captain Rose House, John Thomas, loves sports, trying out science experiments, and reading. He likes to volunteer to do things without being asked. His ambition in life is to become a scientist. Captain Rose House, Danvi Chetan Shetty, is interested in reading, doing crafts, and singing. Honesty is her strength, and her ambition in life is to become a fashion designer and singer. Captain Tulip House, Muhammad Fauzan Abbas, is interested in reading, sports, and Quran memorization. He finds his good communication skills, self-confidence, and determination to be his strengths. His ambition is to become a doctor and serve the humanity. Captain Tulip House, Insha Fatima, loves reading and art. Her strengths are kindness, creativity, and good writing skills. Her ambition in life is to become a pilot. May I now request all the house wardens to join us online as the house captains to uh, as house captains swear into their positions. I now request the parents to invest the students with the honor. May I call upon our dear headmistress of the junior school, Miss Sini Menon, to administer the oath? Thank you, Zia. We, the students of DPS Modern Indian School, hereby swear that we shall discharge our duties and responsibilities to the best of our ability. We shall be models in discipline, honesty, and integrity. We shall respect all the rules and regulations of the school and abide by the school motto, service before self, now and always. We shall Thank you, ma'am. Good evening, one and all. I, Aaron Sudhindran, now take the privilege to call upon the directors. Director of Public Speaking, Archit Khera. Archit believes that his strengths are his speaking skills, creativity, and good ideas. His ambition in life is to first become a good person before becoming a successful person. Director of Public Speaking, Prisha Kirindudani. Her interests are reading, writing poems, and photography. She believes that her strength is confidence and positivity. Her ambition in life is to be a scientist. Director of Dance, Malavika Ratish Panikar, is interested in dance, music, art, and sports. Her ambition in life is to become a doctor and help the world. Director of Dance, Netra Satish. Self-discipline, proactiveness, and leadership qualities are her strengths. She is interested in dancing, drawing, painting, swimming, and skating, and aims to become a dermatologist in the future. Director of Music, Santoshini Raja, enjoys dancing, painting, crafts, and photography. With perseverance, optimism, and obedience as her key strengths, her ambition in life is to become a cardiologist by profession. Director of Music, Nia Teresa Nijo. She believes that being disciplined, patient, and sensitive to others' problems are her strengths. She loves music and art. Her ambition in life is to become a scientist while following her passion for music. Director of Art, Dhruvi Nitin Pujari. Determination and the will to work hard and take initiative are her strengths. Her ambition in life is to pursue art as her passion and chartered accountancy as her profession. Director of Art, Tejita Reddy Jaka. Her hobbies are reading, cycling, dancing, and doing artwork. Her ambition in life is to become an entrepreneur and wishes to start an art school in the future. Dear parents, I request you to hand over the certificates and invest the students with the honor. I would like to invite Ms. Rituparna Roy, Academic Coordinator for Grades 5 and 6, to administer the oath. Thank you, Aaron. We, the students of DPS Modern Indian School, hereby swear that we shall discharge our duties and responsibilities to the best of our ability. We shall be models in discipline, honesty, and integrity. We shall respect all the rules and regulations of the school and abide by the school motto, service before self, 
now and always. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening to all. I, Anushka Girish Pillay, would like to introduce the Directors of Discipline and Environmental Club. Director and Environmental Club, Ayush Pal. His interests include art, gardening, and reading. He believes that his good character and positive attitude are his strengths. He wishes to make contributions to the field of math and science in future. Director Environmental Club, Tarun Pavalu, is interested in scratch coding. He loves being present at school every day and believes in being helpful to others. His ambition in life is to become a police officer. Direct Environmental Club, Evelyn Reginald. She is interested in reading and learning new facts. Her family is a strength and her ambition in life is to become a teacher. Direct Environmental Club, Vidhi Jadav. Loves reading and learning new things. Creative thinking and curiosity are her strengths. Her ambition in life is to become a cardiologist. Director in my middle club, Maunita Srinitya Kumar. Solving puzzles, reading mystery novels, and dancing are her interests. Being smart, enthusiastic, responsible, self-reliant, and friendly are her strengths. She loves learning about space and the universe. Her ambition in life is to become an astronomer. Director discipline, Daksh Anand, loves sports, sketching, and reading. He loves to work in a team. He aspires to be an engineer in future. Director Discipline, Ahil Azhar, has a wide range of interests like playing football, reading, solving the Rubik's Cube, playing the piano, dance, and drawing. His ambition in life is to become a doctor or an astronaut. Director Discipline, Fatima Liana. Public speaking is her interest and strength. She is also interested in art and craft, cycling, and poem writing. Her ambition is to become a satellite engineer. Director Discipline, Sarayu Sangam. Her boldness and willingness to take up all challenges with a smile on her face are her strengths. She is interested in dancing, singing, painting, and community service. She aspires to become a doctor in future. Director discipline should be Kampen. Public speaking, dancing, playing chess, and basketball are her interests. She is a quick learner and considers positivity and leadership qualities as a strength. She aspires to be a great dancer and wishes to represent India in her favorite sports, basketball and chess. I request the parents to do the honors by presenting the certificates to the students. Oh, May I take the privilege to call upon Ms. Aisha Mila, academic coordinators for grade 3 and 4 to administer the video. Thank you, Anushka. We, the students of DPS Modern Indian School, hereby swear that we shall discharge our duties and responsibilities to the best of our ability. We shall be models in discipline, honesty, and integrity. We shall respect all the rules and regulations of the school and abide by the school motto, service before self, now and always. We shall. We shall. Okay. Now, now I would like to call the head boy Sayyid Ahmed Nawaz Rizvi and head girl Kezia Torkato to deliver their acceptance speech. Over to you, Ahmed. Thank you, Sonal, ma'am. Respected principal, ma'am, vice principal, ma'am, headmistress, coordinators, teachers parents, and my dear friends. Good evening, one and all. I'm extremely grateful to DPS Modern Indian School, principal ma'am, headmistress ma'am, and all teachers for believing in my potential and allowing me to serve my school as the head boy. I take this opportunity to thank the outgoing student council for the excellent contribution towards the school, which has motivated me to contest for this position. I would also like to congratulate all the elected young leaders of the Prefectorial Body 2020-21. I truly feel myself honored to be the head boy of this great institution. And at the same time, humbled by this opportunity, I have got to speak to you, particularly so during this COVID-19 testing times. I pray and wish your peace, good health and happiness for everyone. 
New times bring new challenges and new opportunities. We are otherwise not used to spending months at home with no schools, without daily joyful routines, with friends and with zero out of play time. However, it has forced acceptance for virtual learning, broadened the efficient means of communication and humankind that has more so united. Being the head boy means representing every student in the school with all sincerity, honesty, and enthusiasm. In doing so, I have dreams and plans for all scenarios for which I'll work with my fellow young leaders, teachers, and principals to my best to achieve merits in every sphere of school and student activities. Moreover, I know that like me, you all have dreams and the responsibility to always be your best self. And that starts with doing the smallest thing rightly. If you take care of the small thing, the big thing will take care of themselves. Once again, I thank you all for the opportunity and I look forward to work together to make everybody proud. Thank you, stay safe and stay healthy. Being responsible is an enormous privilege. It's what marks anyone a fully grown human by Obama. Good evening, respected chief guests for the evening, principal ma'am, vice principal ma'am, headmistress ma'am, coordinators, teachers, parents, and my dear friends. I, Kelly Torcato of Grade 5, stand before you all with great pride and honor as the head girl of DPS Modern Indian School, Junior Prefectorial Body 2020-21. I take this opportunity to thank each one of you for believing in me and appointing me to this role. I understand that the head girl is a challenging role, but I want to graduate knowing that I have added a drop to my school's enormous ocean of success. Besides, one of my desires as your head girl is to let the many voices be heard and your talents and interests be showcased in different ways, making you stand out amongst the crowd. Remember, there is no limitation to what we can achieve. I have seen so many of our teachers and students display their own great characters and leave behind fond memories. Being the head girl is not about being better than anyone else. It's about having trust of the student body to organize and represent them with honesty and enthusiasm whenever called upon. And hopefully, I can earn your trust in time. Having said this, I am sure I can live up to your expectation and will try my best not to let you down or to wash away my parents' and teachers' anticipation of me in delivering my best for the school. My motto for me and my team leaders would be think, act, and achieve, keeping the heritage of our school, being not just a building, but a builder of the future. I, along with my team, want to see DPS and MIS always at the pinnacle of success. Last but not the least, let's all keep in mind that responsibility is accepting that you are the cause and the solution of the matter and that together we can achieve anything. Thank you. Thank you, Amir and Kezia. Using your positions as a stepping stone to lead the junior school with utmost dedication, responsibility, and enthusiasm. I'm sure as young leaders, you will bring glory and success to our school. Wish you all a very, all the very best for your future endeavors. time to express our gratitude. I request Ms. Priya Susan to propose the oath of thanks. Over to you, Ms. Priya. Thank you, Ms. Sonal. Good evening, everyone. A word of gratitude can touch hearts in many ways. And thus, I deem it my honest privilege to have been trusted with the duty of rendering the vote of thanks this evening. On my behalf on, and on behalf of DPS Modern Indian School, I place on record our sincere gratitude to the chief guest for the day, Ms. Najla al Bakar, founder and managing director of Crusoe Services and Trading. 
for gracing the occasion with her dignified presence. May I take the honor of thanking Mr. Yasir Naina, Vice President, DPS Modern Indian School, and all the members of school management for the support they have rendered to us always. Words fail when we take to thank our dear principal, Ms. Asna Nafiz, for her ever so charismatic presence, motivation, and guidance in anything positive that we endeavor. A special note of gratitude to our vice principals, Ms. Soma Bhattacharji and Ms. Mary Cruz, for their inspiring presence always. The headmistress of the junior school, Ms. Sini Mede, cannot be thanked enough for her constant encouragement and support. I express our thankfulness to all the academic and activity coordinators for the in incomparable support system that they are. Let me extend our heartfelt gratitude to the IT department and the computer science department for the technical support, which has contributed largely to the success of this event. All the dear teachers of our school deserve a special mention for their hard work and efforts, be it in academics or extracurricular areas. It is a matter of absolute bliss and pride to see our students grow and develop each day. And I firmly believe that it always starts from home. Since your appreciation and thanks to all the dear parents who have molded their children to be the best that they can. Last, but never the least, I thank each one of you who have joined us online today to witness our leaders of tomorrow take charge of their duties. I wish everyone a very pleasant evening ahead. Thank you.